Have you guys ever been on Reddit? We haven't. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna be doing today. It's where the people came to play. reading scary stories off of reddit that's what i enjoy watching on youtube like when i'm watching it you know i'm just watching scary like stories scary animations and like mr nightmare or like corpse bride um corp not corpse bride corpse husband i think it is but it doesn't matter that's what i'm always watching and um so i thought it'd be fun to just read some stories off of reddit and that's what we're gonna be doing today did you say mr nightmare yeah mr. Okay. i should check if that's correct I'll link it down below just in case they said it something wrong. I think it's I think it is so me and Gloria tried to do a TikTok um scary edition or whatever, but we could not find anything that was like scary and then what we did, like we just didn't believe it. Oh my god. Yeah. So like our reactions were horrible, we just didn't believe anything. It, I don't know. It was just I feel like it's not entertaining just because part of it we're not entertaining. All right. So the story is called "Scary." This it's called "Scary True Story." What happened to me? When I was, I was brushing my teeth with an electric toothbrush, I heard some footsteps from upstairs. What was creepy was that no one out of my the three of us, my dad, my brother, and I never go up there. One because we don't, and two because there's no room to even walk up there. It's a large storage attic. Obviously, my toothbrush being electric makes a lot of sound, so I thought it was my usual hearing things in my brain playing tricks on me. After I finished. Finished my teeth. I walked past. Finish brushing them. No, they finished my teeth. Yeah. I walked past the staircase that leads upstairs and looked up. It was pitch black besides that one window that that was open. But what freaked me out was that I couldn't see the window until something moved upstairs. It was like someone was in the darkness, stuck down, so I couldn't see them, which freaked me out. So I ran to my room, turned off the kitchen lights, as I did, so making sure sure no one was so when no one was there, I closed the hallway door leading to my bedroom. Mind you, this is when everyone in the house is 100% dead asleep. So was it my younger brother or dad? But anyway, so I closed the door. Wait, so they saw in the someone? Second. Mm -hmm. And then they ran away? Yeah, because they heard like there was somebody walking upstairs, but they said they don't walk up there because the attic is like, it's big, but it's for storage. So yeah. it's not like you can like be, be like chilling up there. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, I close the door and the second I do do so, I hear three three knocks at the door. I just I just closed I just closed thinking it was my brother my brother playing tricks on me. I opened it calling out calling to him to piss off and he, he isn't funny ignoring the thing upstairs walking past the Okay, so he was basically room. like So in a way he heard the knocking and then he thought it was his brother. So he, so yeah, he just we all like stopped messing around. But he completely forgot about him seeing like a shadow duck down in the yeah, like he, saw, in the like he ignored all of that, thinking it was his brother. So he just like okay, so upstairs, past, walking past it to get to his room. There's He's snoring and asleep, asleep as my dad. Of course, I go back to my room with the door shut. I try going to sleep, but as usual, it takes me a couple hours to do so. But since I was a bit shocked, took longer throughout trying to go to sleep. I swear to God, I saw someone's, someone's head pop around the corner of a couple times, not at the height of my dad or my brother, though it was lower. I think I fell asleep from being that tired, but yeah, it definitely freaked me out and I still can't explain what happened. Man, okay, that was hard. That was a little bit hard for me. I had to do the three times. So basically, they saw something, they heard something. Okay. But that would be scary though, if you think about it. Like, that you live with a certain amount of people, then for sure, like, like for us, like I know that, um, like I know when my dad's walking, you know? I know how, like, how his footsteps like sound, how like heavy it is. Also like when my mom's up, like I can hear that. Their height. Yeah, and their heights and stuff. So for honestly for me, if I saw somebody peeking their head through, like mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to stay in my bed. Like I have a bat next to my bed, so like you know. Like I don't understand. I don't know, is it a guy thing? That they just like, you know? Like nothing will happen or like you know that they don't like like it did freak him out. It says it freaked him out. Well it doesn't even well yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he didn't say it freaked he just said it freaked him out, but he didn't really do anything about it. The story I'm gonna be reading is called Almost Kidnapped. They put scary but a true story. Scary true story. 
When I was around seven or eight years old, I lived up on a big hill full of forest. All of my neighbors were families separated by trees and my great grandparents field for their horses. No one came around or even drove by much unless they were family or close family friends. I was trapped in their backyard surrounded by a six foot chicken fence and couldn't get out if I wanted to. They didn't show me how to open the gates yet. No one could see me from the inside of the house, no windows looking out to the backyard. My great grandparents had their truck in the garage. They were no cars in sight so it looked like no one was home. A gray silver car drives by. A few minutes later, it comes back. Two men step out of the car. An old guy and a guy looking like he was around 20. The younger one speaks first. Hey there, kiddo. What you doing? His hand gripped the six-foot tall fence. Both guys were looking around. I now know that they were probably trying to find adults and or a gate to get in. Okay. I'm playing dentist. I was scraping rocks. They said, I'm playing dentist. I was scraping rocks covered in chicken poop with a stick pretending they were teeth, you know as normal eight-year-old girls do. The old man leaned I never did that. The old man leaned face first into the fence, making a goofy face. Hey, do you wanna go for a ride? We got candy. Okay, mister, but I have to go ask my mommy first. I ran inside so excited for a car ride and free candy. I was very naive. But I was also polite and I didn't want to make my mom upset if I left without her knowing. I asked my mom and everyone's face went pale except my grandpa who went red. To me my great grandpa is a gentle giant but to the men trying to take me he was a huge old timer with a voice that held the promise to kill. What the hell are you doing here? He bursted out the front door ready to rip and tear. He was old but fit and is still kicking. I see the younger guy fall and claw his way inside the car as the old guy started to drive off, already inside the car. We called the police but never found them. That sucks that they didn't find them, that's annoying. I then got the stranger danger talk and to this day I'm glad that I am too good for my own good? I'm too good for my own good. Asking first before I go for a car ride with a stranger and thanks great grandpa. I know for sure you would have beat the living out of them if you got the chance. That's crazy. I feel like that. I feel like it's because they raised her well, though. You know that she said that she was gonna go ask, like yeah. if she could go. Cause I mean, like some people, I feel like they don't. Even little kids, like some of them, they don't say, "Oh, I'm gonna go ask someone." They're just yeah. like, "Oh, I'm gonna go," you know, even though they're at their own property. Good thing and I know that they ask. do kidnap a lot of kids on their own property. Like it's not That's sometimes nice just like you know, out of foot on the street, they take them from their own their own houses. That's messed up bro. And we're only going to be reading those two guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed um, us being on Reddit and reading those stories. If you guys want to see more of that, go down below. A few videos behind me got a comment saying that they wanted us to read a book. So I still, I keep on forgetting to order it, but I'm going to order it today for sure. And um, whenever we get it, we're going to record it and we're going to post it. So stay tuned for... I don't know, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe and like just to so you can see the video of us reading the book. Remember to like, subscribe, share, um, wash your hands, be safe, wear your masks, be okay out there, you know. Um, but still have fun. And that's all. Adios. Bye. Oh, is it a video? Oh, no. A video. Well, I think if they look like this, they're videos. Yeah, I know. It's a different song. Oh, wow. Yeah. One, two, 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 two. Ah, oh, wow. I feel like I'm reading bad. Do you wanna do you have a pause? No. Do you wanna read it? Yeah. Okay. A guy looking like he was around 20. Stop, otra vez? Dude, I won't have to be like that. No. Did I have my hair here to be hidden? No, 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 I don't think so. I'm really annoyed if it is. Okay. If you guys like this type of video, give it a likes up. Likes up? <laughs> give it a thumbs up for we can know and we'll try to find like scariest. 
we'll try to, yeah, we'll we'll try to find scarier or like 